What is up guys, it is me XXI Chris. I used to be vlogging full, but then I changed my name to XXI Chris because that's where I am everywhere on Twitch, Twitter, everywhere. So I have the unboxing of the Black Widow Elite keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard. I'm upgrading from, well, you can't really see here, but it's a membrane keyboard. I used to have the Corsair K55 RGB keyboard as well, but I returned that one and in exchange, I got this one. I paid a little bit more or a lot bit more and I'm going to do the unboxing. And then I'm also gonna do a sound test and also a clip of how it sounds when I'm streaming because I stream on Twitch. So I wanna show you guys because I have the um, the Blue Yeti microphone. So how well you can hear it in the, in the background noise. So that way you know if you want this keyboard or not, if it's too loud, too, I don't know. But uh, we'll, we'll do the unboxing and the sound test. So I'm not sure how well you can see this. I like how the box has uh, a little uh, arrow on the tape so that way it's easily removable you don't need a knife uh, we'll just remove this keyboard out the way okay so opening up the keyboard here on the box we had a little pamphlet it says Black Widow Elite uh, for gamers by gamers oh wow uh, was this necessary that I do this I don't like doing any unnecessary actions <laughs> within my boxes. Uh, taking this out. There was nothing else, so we have this right here. Okay, foam piece. Another foam piece. This looks like the rest. The, the, it's like a foam resty thingy. Sometimes, sometimes. Oh well, with the with the Corsair K55, I didn't use the little piece that came with it. But then again, it was plastic. But anyway, opening this up. Wow. Size compared. Well, it's kind of it's kind of the same length, but it just looks so much skinnier for me. Like, oh my god, this is so great. Wowzers. The USB is, is a thick wire. It's not that thick, but it's, you can tell it has like a, a good quality to it. There is... What the heck? As you guys can clearly tell, I don't know much about this keyboard. But there is a 3.5 millimeter head jack to it. And two USB ports. Is a green one. Does this should use like freaking USB 5.0 or something? Jeez Louise, man! I gotta find out what what the what the U what the 3.5 millimeters for. I love it. I love it. And the distances between keys. It's not, it's not a lot of distance, so when I'm using WASD, uh, for example, if I'm playing Fortnite, I use Q for my ramp, and then one, or, or you know, whatever the number keys on top would be something else. So it's so quickly accessible, whereas the membrane keyboard or the Corsair K55 keyboard, it was actually quite a distance. It's, it's, I know it's a key, but it was quite a difference. Quite a distance. So upon plugging the two USBs into my computer here, um, this turned on clearly it's going through like a slow color changing cycle and then also on my computer you can't see it actually here but a window popped up that says Razer gaming software uh, I'll read it just quickly congratulations you now hold the competitive advantage there's no turning back experience radios uh, Razer Razer radio I said radio um, so I'd say one of the cons already about the two USBs. This might be only for me because my motherboard, I guess, but I didn't have enough USB ports, so I had to take out the, the USB port that I was using for my mouse here. And then I also had to take out the USB port from my, I mean, did I say mouse? I meant keyboard. I took the keyboard out and I also unplugged my mouse. However, remember earlier I was like, why does it have two USBs? Why does it have a 3.5 millimeter head jack? 
Well, because on the side, I just literally learned this, there is a USB port and a 3.5 millimeter head jack, so that way you can plug in another USB, so I'm gonna pl plug my mouse into this, and then you can also plug in some headphones, which I think I'm gonna do that. I'm not too sure yet, but I think I'm gonna do that. So let's go ahead and plug in my mouse. Okay, I'm bringing up my USB for my mouse right now. We're gonna see this right now live in action. Hey, there, and it detects on my computer. That's freaking awesome. And it's working just like normal. Alrighty, now time to reroute this cable in the back. Okay, let's do the installation of this little gaming software. Razer Synap, uh, it's 260 megabytes, just so you guys know. Um, Yeah, too many wires, but it's, it's whatever. I, I think I can work with it, I think I can work with it. All right. Um, wow, I love it, I love this, I love this, I love this. Okay, I have the notepad up. I'm just gonna do like a little test right here, but uh, the true um, sound test is gonna be with this microphone, so don't worry, that's gonna come soon, or in the next few clips. But this is just, you know, first impression, let's do this. So, um, what I'm saying, I'm gonna type. So, I'm gonna write this because I just, oh, backspace, what the heck just happened? Because I just want to hear how, how this sounds from a far distance with my Canon T5i, AKA EOS 700D and yeah. Okay, so we're gonna install this thing right here. I think, I think I wanna use it. I think I wanna, I heard that it's magnetic too, which is a really great, wow, it's very soft, hmm, very soft. How does this go? Wow, just like that? Wow, hold on, I need to do another notepad. I am testing this little arm rest. I like it, I really do like it, but I'd have to see. I'd have to see if I actually really do like it. It's nice, it, it, does, it does feel really good. But I don't know me personally if I if I actually really do like that. I know when I, when I'm doing when I'm um, watching videos on YouTube or doing some type of internet research or homework, this will be nice. But when I'm playing games, I actually really do like when my when my wrists hit the uh, or is is using the desk as the support. I'd have to see. I, I'd actually would have to test that out. But let's go to the clicky test. Okay, so you guys have to be the judge of the sound test. I'm not sure if this microphone really did it justice. It's a good microphone though. I don't know what settings because there's four different settings, so I'm not sure which one I should have used. I think I used the Omni directional one. Uh, the one that people do ASMR like, hey, how's it going? Like, like that one, the one that goes around. So that one's actually best uh, experience if you have headphones. Anyway, so the next test is gonna be how it sounds like when I'm streaming, when I'm, when I'm playing like this. And I'm like, yo guys to the Southwest, you know, things like that. So that way you can see the camera, you can see how it's, and the gaming back, and the, and, the, and, the, and the keyboard knows in the background. And then that'll be the ending of the video. So without further ado, let's get to that. Alrighty, so this is gonna be the keyboard test. I'm gonna play it on Fortnite because Fortnite is actually what I normally play and what I normally stream. I'm gonna start streaming some Overwatch, but Honestly, Fortnite's my only and main game, as you can see from my previous videos. I used to stream a lot of Fortnite on the console, and then I uh, recently, well, about a few months ago, I switched over to PC. I'm still working on my on my setup because, as you can see, when I move a lot, it gets a little blurry. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, this is just the keyboard test, the sound test when I'm streaming. So, if any of you viewers would like to watch my streams, you would know exactly how it would sound. Ooh, 
heck? Alrighty, that was a little weird, wasn't it? One thing I noticed that when I turned it on, it was going through like a cycle of colors. But when I went into the Fortnite game, um, it's just stuck on one color and like a white color. So I obviously have to do some type of configuration in the Razer. Um, that one application that I downloaded, Synapse or whatever, whatever it's called. So some people like the, the keyboard noises when streaming. Um, like for me, I can agree on that. What the heck did you shoot me with? Anyway, so that's what that's what <laughs> that's what it sounds like. But that's gonna actually be the end of the video, um, the whole video. I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, if you guys would like to subscribe, give me a like, follow my stream at twitch.tv forward slash xxi chris. I would appreciate that. And uh, that is that's it for this little test over here. So. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys maybe in my next video. I don't know what my next video is because I'm more streaming now, but um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Love you guys. Peace.